Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to Fawalik's walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at how to install Certification Authority server role. And Certification Authority of course is used for authenticating through certificates like public key and private key um, concept. So to install that role, we need to come to server manager and we'll click add roles and features over here. And we'll say next, next, and then over here also next, and we will select select uh, Active Directory Certification Role or uh, Certification Authority Service Services, and then we'll say next. And once we'll come over here, we need to select what role services we would like to install. Um, to just install certification authority, I only need certification authority role, but because I'm going to use a web portal to generate certificates, so I'm going to install certification um, authority web enrollment also. And I'll click next over here. And although restart is not required, but if you want, you can select this or just ignore it and say install. It would take some time to install this role. And once this role is installed, we would need to configure uh, some settings for the post installation. This certificate part is actually to secure your connection. When you are accessing websites, uh, any client to server authentication mechanism you are using, you have certificates to encrypt your connections. So this is for the same reason. So this server would be used to generate certificates. So I'll close this now. And as you see, I have an exclamation mark over here. I click on this and I can configure Active Directory certificate services on the destination server. This is my lab environment and administrator is my user for the credentials. I'll say click next over here and then I'll choose these two roles over here. If I click next, will it be my enterprise CA or it's a standalone CA? So enterprise CA must be domain member. So of course this server is my domain member and I'm going to click next over here. And it's not a subordinate CA, it's my stand, uh, root CA for uh, the private and public key. And I'm going to say next over here. I'll create a new pub private key for this server and I'm going to use char2, uh, which is more in, uh, secure version of the encryption. And I'll say next over here. Uh, this is just a default uh, common name and uh, things. I can change this common name if I want. Um, that's not a problem. I can probably use only app service CA or maybe I can uh, name it as lab see as my common name over here and then i can click next over here so whenever i would be generating a certificate uh, this ca validity would be for five years um, so i'll keep it default default is five years and i will say next these are the uh, database and log location i'll click next and i'll say configure so now you can see my um, configuration of CA and installation of CA is successfully completed. I'll click on close. So to check whether this certificate server website is available for me, I'll come to this IS of course, and inside IS I have sites and you see my default website is stopped and I have cert server available over here. And if I say browse to this, let's see if it browse or not. Of course, it says not found because my default website is stopped. I'll start it, but why it is not starting? That's another topic. Let me fix this out. 
why it was not working because my whatsapp gold was bind to port 80 so it was already used so i just changed it to 8080 and now my default website has started i just right clicked on it and i started this website from here um, so now if i right click on this and browse to this you can see i have my c up and running so we'll talk about uh, uh, we'll talk about how to generate a certificate request and how to generate a certificate from CA in a different tutorial. But that was it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I'm talking about.